everyone and welcome back to my channel, Beautiful Toy Reviews. Celebrating 30 years of The Little Mermaid, Disney Store came out with new dolls. Back in October of 2013, they already did Ariel as a mermaid. I don't have that one and frankly I'm glad I waited because I like this one a lot better. She comes in a beautiful box. This style of box is actually what they use for the live action dolls, but they've been using it a lot recently for the animated dolls. Some people are not happy about it, but I don't mind it. The way you know it is a live action box is the handle at the top and also the back has ribbon ties, which I'll show you in just a minute. I love how the colors play off. You can see the iridescent shine. You can view her from three sides. So this is the back of the box. Look how they perfectly tied that ribbon. I love it. It's perfectly even. The other half is just in French. This is what she looks like with the frame off. She's more visible if you want to view her like this. It's a little hard to read, but it still says one of 5,500. Some of the designs they still keep on the clear plastic part. With the clear plastic removed, we get a nice clear look at her. One of the many touches I like about is the pearls in her hair and the sea flower. Oh, and her bracelet. I much better choice than the other one. The other one they had, her bracelet just consisted of fish all around. I love the background. Look, she has glitter eyeshadow. Disney Star artists, they do a really good job. Look at her one bracelet. She has a different looking one over here. It's just so beautiful. You could just admire her all day. The other one is pretty too, but the style of her tail is different. It's a matter of preference. I personally like this one better. Now you can clearly see the background. Right behind that is the Certificate of Authenticity. Wow, that's a low number. 50 of 5,500. That's hard to get a low number like that. Wow. I could take it out of the packaging, but I usually keep it in there. All right, let's get a full look at her. She can't really stand on her own for obvious reasons. She has her mermaid tail.
You can definitely see her feet. This is as straight as I can make it. I love her face. She's so pretty. The pearls are held down by rubber bands. And further up, thread. She is fully posable. Her flukes have wire in them. You can't really bend them, and I wouldn't recommend that. If you bend wire too much, it breaks over time. Rhinestones on her fins. You see the embroidery to give the lines that she has. The back does not have rhinestones or the embroidery. Her shell top has purple rhinestones on. You can see that kind of shell that Ursula used when she took Ariel's voice. They put storytelling in these dolls, which I love. They're bracelets. You have three of them. This one has white rhinestones. The other one, chain bracelet. Very pretty. Look at that. That's the same kind of style that she used to hold her top up. Such a beautiful doll, very gorgeous. You can bend her legs, her waist twists and turns. Pearls around her arms. Such a gorgeous doll. And the back of her shell top is held in a, this material is ribbon. And her wrists bend, her arms, shoulders. With mermaid dolls, if you want to pose them a certain way, you have to put them on the stand. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share it out. And let me know in the comments too what you think of her. Do you like this doll or do you prefer the older version better? And let me know why. I'd love to hear it. Take care guys and I'll see you again next time.